Hello and welcome back to Frogboy X1 Gaming. I'm Andrew and today I want to do my review for the Nacon Revolution um, 5 Pro. So if you like this content, don't forget to like and subscribe. Now I want to go ahead and set this over here for a second. And I want to pull out this little kit. Oh shoot. That comes with this controller. Um, as you can see in here. There are multiple different types of things that come in here. So you'll have these these thicker knobs that you can uh, that you can put on the uh, <clears throat> that you can put on the controller. It's got swappable uh, joysticks. Then you have uh, these littler ones right here. Let's see if I can get one out of there. I'm looking at this through the camera. So <laughs> and these ones here are like concave. Hard rubber, very hard rubber. They almost feel like like tires or whatever. Uh, these right here are weights that you can, and I'm going to show you that in the controller in just a second. Like this one here is 14 grams. Um, they're different weights so that you can increase the uh, the weight of the uh, the overall controller. Then you have these smaller ones. These here are looks like 10 grams. So you've got 10 grams. Um, 10 grams, I believe these ones here were were 14 grams. Yeah, 14, and then the ones I have in there right now are 16. I do like that heavier feel to it. Uh, right here, we have, these right here go on your joysticks. These increase the circumference of your joysticks. Uh, these are the thickest ones. I was I just tried these ones out just a minute ago. And then I ended up back with the. Uh, sorry, I'm looking. Like I said, I was looking at that through the uh, through the case, um, and, that, and now I'm back with like the the medium ones. This is a microphone that you can plug into the controller itself. You can plug this in, and then that will turn your controller into a microphone, as well. And then you also have a standard. Um, D-pad for that for your controller that you can swap out. You can have either the the, the regular D-pad or the other one, and this all comes in this nice, cool little case that says Nacon Revolution Pro or Revolution Five Pro. Now let's move on over to the case that this would come in. Uh, you get this case. And then there is a USB stick in here. This USB stick is so that you can, uh, I believe it's for the Bluetooth. I'm not exactly 100% sure, but I think that is what it is for, is the Bluetooth connectivity to like your PC or whatever, so that you plug this in and then you can get like a Bluetooth signal or something. I don't, yeah, I'm not exactly sure. Or not Bluetooth, so I, I don't know. I didn't read the little book thing on it because I don't even use that thing. So now we're back to the controller. Um, we're going to go ahead and flip this over. And then I was going to show you this. You could pop off these sides and you can stick the weights in each side of your controller. Let's go ahead and pop that back on. So it just pops on. Now, if you look back here, let me go ahead and move this cord out of your way just a little bit. You can see like this harder rubber. This is rub. This is like a rubber filling. And then this right here up here just feels like it almost feels like velvet like velvet <laughs> velvet covered plastic if we turn it around in the front you can see these amazing gosh that little cord is going to be in my way you can see like this textured pattern on here these are nice and smooth um you have um you you, you have it like corded or you can do bluetooth and then over here, I don't know exactly what that button is yet. I haven't figured that out yet. Um, you got the trigger stops, obviously. And then down here, uh, let me see if I can get it up just a little bit. You can switch this from PS5, PS4, PC. There's an advanced or just a regular control mode. And then your profiles, um, along with a Bluetooth button for connectivity. Then you got your plus, minus. Let me move this cord again. These here are your back buttons right there and right here. These are both back buttons. Now, I wanted to flip this bad boy back over um, because you obviously are going to have 
your mute button, your little PlayStation button. This is the uh, D-pad that comes on it right now. This thing actually feels pretty freaking cool. Um, I've got the um, the convex uh, joysticks on there right now. Um, and like I said, I have the the medium ring on there. Uh, and and as like as I'm done showing you like the features, we're going to be talking about some of this really quickly. Oh no, it's kind of a little bit hard to put that back on there. Okay, so that's back on. Um, obviously, you'll have your start button and your uh, your share button or whatever, and then your touchpad right there. So that there is basically the controller. As you can see, this is a very nice braided cable that blocks interference and everything else. Um, helps increase the connection for that. Very very cool. This is on both sides on the uh, on the when it, where it plugs into and and right here on the controller. So the biggest thing, um, the one thing that I really really like, I play a lot of racing games. Um, every now and then, um, I, I play I play some uh, some bike racing games as well. And uh, you'll know that like when you're playing a racing game, um, if you just hold the joystick straight up. And then you kind of rotate it from left to right. Um, it makes it so much smoother in your steering. And uh, with the normal controller, you when you push this all the way up, like you, you're, you're going to get like sometimes it's going to be a little bit like more more janky or whatever. But seeing as this here has not only hull effect for the joysticks, but also increasing that size with that right there and then holding it up it makes the the uh, steering even smoother but um it, it is a lot harder to, to to turn really sharp so if you're uh um, i was just testing it on forza motorsport and if you um you're, you're gonna have to be you're gonna have to almost be like all the way right here to turn sharp whereas you know once you've got your uh once you've gotten used to it and you get used to it Man, this just feels so freaking comfortable. It's not even funny. Normally, is what I'll do is I'll map these back buttons. Um, you know, like on the left side, you know, I'll have this one, this one, or this one will be my, uh, will be my, uh, my, my uh, downshift or my upshift. Um, very good with uh, bike racing games as well. Nacon has a couple of them bike racing games, the TT Isle of Man series, and then obviously I play the WRC. So I just, you know, and, and that's basically, you know, the reason why I was like, you know what, man, I buy a lot of Nacon games. I'm going to give their controller a try. I'm going to give their controller a try. Um, this is this is very cool. Only the one side lights up. Uh, if you're in PC mode, let, let, let me show you just real quick. If you uh, if you switch that, it changes the color. So right now we're at blue, and then we can go all the way over, um, and then it will go to. Oh, you can't even see the different color of the light on here. With a hook to the PC, so so I had it like pink and all kinds of stuff. I do believe that you can get in there with the app and um, actually change some of some some of these settings. So if we go up here and we go into the uh, Revolution 5 um, application, let's go ahead and see if that is even on there. It should be. Oh, yeah. But you got to have it in, like, PlayStation mode or something for it to to actually to, to come up. So once you put it in the PlayStation mode, um, you'll be able to see that you'll be able to, like, customize this controller and stuff. You can check for updates, battery saving, um, PC customize select mode that you want to customize. So if you go into PS5, um, you can pick all these different slots. Um, PC is what I'm mainly using it on. Like I did want to use it on the PlayStation 5, but if you're if you're using it on PlayStation 5, um, you do not get any rumble on PlayStation 5 games. There's no haptic feedback on this controller, nor do you get the. Uh, the adaptive triggers so that is one thing that you're going to leave on the table if you go with this controller um whereas the uh, the dual sense edge if you get that one um it's got removable sticks but i'm gonna i'm not even gonna lie just having this stick right here i like it much better than that but i love and i actually love both of these controllers i think they're both pretty dang awesome to, to be completely honest with you, but this Nacon man is absolutely, 
a premium feeling experience. Like this controller is very, very nice. Uh, $199 is what I got this at Best Buy yesterday, and it's very good. I, I use this mainly, um, I'll be using this mainly for PC. So, all right, my friends, I like this controller. I think it's awesome. If you, um, if, if you are in the market for a new controller, definitely keep Nacon in your, uh, in your thoughts. These guys are awesome. This controller is very, very nice, very premium feeling. Uh, definitely like it. The uh, the controller feels good. The the back buttons feel nice to, to press those and, and use those. Really easy. Um, just using this right here to shift on racing games. Very, very nice. Very nice. So, all right, guys. If you like this content, don't forget to like and subscribe. I'll see you guys in the next one. Thank you so much for watching.